Two dams collapsed in central Michigan on Tuesday, forcing thousands of people to evacuate as up to nine feet of water threatened one town. The Edenville Dam collapsed on Tuesday afternoon amid heavy rainfall, causing the downstream Sanford Dam on the Titabawassee River to fail, leading to major flooding in Midland and Gladwin counties. By Wednesday morning, streets in the towns around the Titabawassee River were covered in feet of water, Governor Gretchen Whitmer declared a state of emergency, and the National Weather Service had urged anyone near the Titabawassee to seek higher ground as up to nine feet of water headed toward Midland. The extent of the damage from the floods remains unclear, but about 3, 500 homes and 10,000 people have been affected by evacuation notices, Mark Bone, chairman of the Midland County Board of Commissioners, told CNN. Floodwaters overflow at Sanford Dam, Michigan, in this May 19, 2020, picture obtained from social media. TC Vortex via Reuters No injuries or deaths have been reported so far, and many residents are taking shelter in high schools and a Midland family center as floodwaters pass through towns, including Midland and Sanford. The Detroit and Pontiac branch of the National Weather Service has issued a flash flood warning until at least 2.15 p.m. on Wednesday, but photos and videos of the region show the damage that has already been done. Floodwaters are seen along a street in downtown Sanford, Michigan, U.S. in this May 19, 2020 picture obtained from social media. Floodwaters are seen along a street in downtown Sanford, Michigan, in this May 19, 2020 picture obtained from social media. Damaged utility poles are seen during flooding in downtown Sanford, Michigan, in this May 19, 2020 picture obtained from social media. Aerial view of water from a broken Edenville dam seen flooding the area as it flows toward Wixom Lake, in Michigan, in this still frame obtained from social media video dated May 19, 2020. Reuters, you gotta uproot and go amid everything else going on this year, Ryan Brethor, a resident, told local CBS affiliate WMEM. This is pretty unreal. Quote.